हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पब्ली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन ऑटोमेटिकली सेंड वू कॉमर्स ऑर्डर नोटिफिकेशन टू योर कस्टमर्स ऑन व्हाट्सएप नंबर्स सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल दैट यू आर अ बिजनेस ओनर एंड यू हैव क्रिएटेड अ ऑनलाइन स्टोर टू सेल योर प्रोडक्ट्स डिजिटली now you want that whenever a customer place a new order on your woocommerce store automatically the customer should receive an order confirmation message on his whatsapp number that the order has been confirmed and it will be delivered by this particular date sit back and relax and something like that for this we need to create a connection between woocommerce and whatsapp so that whenever a new order is placed automatically the message is sent on their whatsapp number So, in order to create a connection, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So, basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating WooCommerce with WhatsApp automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So, let us learn the integration process now on my screen. So, we are back on my screen. Here, let us type p a b b l y pabli dot com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here, we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on Sign Up for free option, and you can create your own account in just two minutes by clicking on Sign Up free button. You will get hundred task free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on Sign In. In the All Apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is Pabli Connect's dashboard. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as WooCommerce to WhatsApp Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement, and simply click on Create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens. Action means do this. So in this use case, we want to send the WooCommerce order notifications to the customers on their WhatsApp numbers. So to capture the response of the WooCommerce, we have to simply open this trigger window. Select the application name as WooCommerce. Select the trigger event as new. Order created. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So let us read the instructions. Navigate to the left side bar, WooCommerce settings. Go to the Advanced tab, Webhooks, and click Add Webhook button. A uh, drop box will get appeared, and we have to fill in the details. So by following all these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your WooCommerce account. So I'll directly copy this webhook URL from here. I'll take you to my WordPress dashboard where I have the WooCommerce section over here. And here we can find the settings option. Click on settings of WooCommerce. Here we can find the advanced tab. Click on advanced. And here we can find the webhooks option over here. Okay, so we have to simply click on webhooks. Now here we are going to add a new webhook. For that, click on this add webhook button. Here we have to give a name to the webhook. So let us give the name as WhatsApp Integration. Here we have to select the status as active. Select the topic as order created. This is because we are creating an order and we want the data to be captured whenever the order is created over here. Order created. Now here we have to paste the delivery URL. So this will be. The webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So we'll be pasting the webhook URL over here in delivery URL. The secret will remain same and the API version will remain same. Okay, and let's click on Save Webhook. Okay, and here we can see that the webhook has been created over here. Now, as we have created a connection between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect, next time whenever the customer is going to place an order with you, Pabli Connect is going to capture the order details. Okay. Now we have to just click on Recapture Webhook Response button. Do you wish to recapture the response? Let's click on Yes. And now here we can see that it is waiting for the Webhook response. 
So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to place an order on the name of a customer. So let's move back to the WooCommerce and here I'll be moving to the uh, products section. Yes, this is the product section. I'm just clicking on all products. And here we are going to just place an order for any of the product. Okay, let us select the product as mobile phone this time. Okay, so I'm just going to open it in a new tab so that we can place an order. So we are going to just make an order over here. The mobile phone price is 9,999 rupees. Let's click on add to cart. The way we are um, ordering the uh, products on the websites. Okay, here we are just going to select the quantity as one. Let's update the cart. Okay, and let's click on proceed to checkout. And here I'm just going to select the first name as Chris, last name as Joe, company name as Pabli, country as India, street address as E2, 234 Arera Colony, city as Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, pin as 462021. And here I'm going to just change the mobile phone number. Okay, and email address. And let's click on place an order and the uh, order will be cash on delivery. Okay, let's click on place order. Okay, it's taking just some time to get loaded over here and we are on the checkout page. Thank you, your order has been received. So the order has been placed and here we can find all the details of the order. Now let's move back to public connect. Okay, and let's scroll down and here we can see the responses received. Okay, and in the response we can find all the details. This is the order to create a date and time. Let's scroll down. Here we can find the customer name as Chris, last name as Joe, company name as Pabli, his address details. And here we can find his email address, phone number. Let's scroll down. Okay. And here we can find the payment method as cash on delivery. As well as we can find all the details of the product also. I'm just finding the product details. Yes. Here we can find the details. Yes. Line item, name as mobile phone. And even the amount is captured. So as we can see that all the details of the order has been captured over here in Public Connect. So now we want that using these details automatically a order notification message should be delivered to the customers on their WhatsApp number. But for sending the messages we need the expected delivery date also. And here we can find the date only the created date and time. For that we are going to just add an action step over here so that we can get the expected delivery date. Select the application name as date and time for matter. We are going to just uh, select the action event as modify current date. Click on connect. Here we have to select the date format as DDMM and YY. I am selecting the format as per my requirement. You can select it as per your requirement. Okay. Here we have to select the time zone as Asia Kolkata as we are in India. Here we have to select the operation as at unit at as days and the value as four days. So by selecting the value as four, automatically four days will be added to your current date. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. And here we can find in the response the delivery date as 3rd of April 2022. And the created date and time was 30th of March 2022. So the four days are added to this particular to created date and time. Okay. Now we are going to send a message on WhatsApp. For that click on this plus sign. Add action step. Select the application name as 360 dialog. Select the action event as send template message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the API key and domain name. So let us read the instructions. Enter API key here. You can create API key in your 360 dialog account. Log into your 360 dialog account. Move to WhatsApp account page from the left sidebar and click on generate API key button. So I'll take you to my 360 dialog account. So this is the dashboard of 360 dialog account. I have added the link of 360 dialog in the description box. By clicking on that link, you can reach to 360 Dialog application and get 360 Dialog service at a very affordable price than the actual price. Here we have to move to WhatsApp accounts and here we can find generate API key button. So you have to simply generate the API key, copy that API key, go back to public connect and paste the API key over here. 
Now once the API key is generated, the same API key can be used for various different connections and workflows. We don't have to generate the API key again and again. Now the domain is required. Enter the domain here which you will get while generating the API key. An example is also given. So we are going to simply copy this example from here and we will be pasting the same example over here. Okay. Now whenever our account is approved, we get this particular domain by default. In your case, if you get some other domain, please paste that domain over here. After pasting API key and domain, simply click on save. As I already have a connection, I will just choose this option that is select existing connection and I will click on save. Okay, and now 360 dialog account is connected to public connect as I was already logged into my 360 dialog account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your 360 dialog account. Now here we have to select a template. So template is simply a message that you want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. As we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we need to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook. And once the template is approved, we can use that particular template for sending the messages on WhatsApp. So that is the reason we have to select a specific template over here. So I'll take you to my 360 dialog account once again. And here we can find manage templates option. Now here you can see I have created several templates and got it approved. So if you want to create a new template, come to this plus sign add template. Here you can give a name to the template. From here you can select the category of your template. Various categories are available. Okay. Here you can select the language of your choice. Here you have to select your template type. Here you have to give the template body text that is the message that you want to send on the WhatsApp number. Then click on preview and submit. Then it will be going for the approval and once this template is approved then only you can use this particular template for sending the messages on whatsapp so i'll just close this template and i'll open the one which i have already created and got it approved okay let us find the same over here that is order confirmation okay let's scroll down yes here we can find order confirmation alert so i'm just going to open the same template over here and here we can find order confirmed. Hello, here we want the name of the customer. Thank you for shopping with us. Your order of, here we can give the product name is confirmed. We will deliver your package by, here we can give the expected delivery date. Once the order is shipped, we will get back to you with the tracking number. Sit back and relax while we have this delivered to you. Happy shopping and here you can give your business name. So I have taken one, two, three and four numbers in the curly braces. So these are the body fields and the values of these body fields are going to change every time. As uh, the customer name is Chris, here you can see that I have entered the details as Chris. And here we can see that the name is uh, applied over here. So in this way, all the values will get changed. Okay. So we have to select the same template that is order confirmation alert over here in public connect. We are going to find the same. Okay, and here we can see that the namespace and the language code is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes. Now here we have to give the recipient mobile number. So the recipient will be the customer who is going to receive the WhatsApp message. So here we have to map the mobile number of the customer. That is the WhatsApp number of the customer, which we have already received through the WooCommerce order uh, details over here. Okay, let us find the WhatsApp number. This is the WhatsApp number. We have to map the same over here. So come to 360 dialog and here the instruction is also mentioned enter the recipient mobile number with country code. So first let us map the mobile number from WooCommerce. This was the mobile number and here we can see that the country code is missing in this particular number. So I'm just adding the country code of India manually over here. You have to map, you have to add your country code over here. Okay. And make sure you have mapped the WhatsApp number of the customer. Now body field one is required, example name. So let us map the name of the customer. So the name was Chris. And the last name was Joe, if I remember. Yes. So we have mapped the name. Now we have to map the product name. Again from WooCommerce. So the product name was mobile phone. Here we have to map the expected delivery date which we have got from date and time formatter. And at last we have to give the company name. So let us give it as Pabli. 
and let's click on save and send test request. Ok and here we can see the response is received. It means the customer has received a order notification message. Let's check it. We are going to WhatsApp. Ok and here we can see a new message. Let's open the message over here. Order confirmed. Hello Chris Joe. Thank you for shopping with us. Your order of mobile phone is confirmed. We will deliver your package by 3rd of April 2022. Once order is shipped, we will get back to you within the tracking number. Sit back and relax while we have this delivered to you. Happy shopping, Pabli. So here you can see Body Field 1 as the name of the customer. Body Field 2 as your product name. Body Field 3 as your expected delivery date. And Body Field 4 as your company name or your business name. So all the values of the body fields are correctly displayed in this message. And the message is delivered to the customer. So in this way, our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now, as we have created a connection, this is just a one-time process. Next time, whenever any of your customer is going to place an order on your WooCommerce store, automatically the customer will get an order confirmation message on his mobile number, on his WhatsApp number. So we have to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to the product page and I'm just going to make another order. Okay, and let us select this dashing black t-shirt. Let's place the order for this particular t-shirt. Uh, okay, let's add it to the cart. Quantity as one. Here we can find the total amount. Here we can find the address. Let's click on proceed to checkout. And this time I have added the details, first name as Adam, last name as Smith, company name as Pabli. And here we can add see, see the address details as EM18 in this park, country, oh sorry, city as Indore, state as MP, PIN code. Here we can find the phone number and I'm just going to change the email address also as Adam Smith. 123 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so we have added all the details of the customer and here we can find the order details. Uh, payment method as cash on delivery and let's click on place order. Okay, and here we can see, thank you, your order has been received. So the new order has been placed on the name of Mr. Adam Smith and I have given the same mobile number just to check whether our integration is actually working fine or not. Now we have to check our WhatsApp number. Let's move to WhatsApp. We have to just refresh it. Okay, and here we can see a new message. Order confirmed. Hello, Adam Smith. Thank you for shopping with us. Your order of dashing black t-shirt is confirmed. We will deliver your package by 3rd of April 2022. Here we can find the other message. Happy shopping, Pabli. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. This message was for Chris Joe and this message is for Adam Smith. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, I'll just minimize this trigger window also. So first we have created an integration between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the order as well as the customer whenever a new order was placed. Then we have applied date and time formatter to capture the expected delivery date because in the message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number, we need the expected delivery date also. And at last using all these details, automatically a new message was delivered to the customer that his order is confirmed. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between WooCommerce and WhatsApp using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Public Forum. To check the pricing details of Public Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Public Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.